Well, all right, we're installing the drawers. There's the first three. This one's not in all the way yet. I just wanted to show you real quick what we do. We got a spacer here that goes in and another one over here on this side that goes in. And then we put one screw in here, one screw in over here. What I kind of sort of do is check my levels up here to see if the, if the drawer is tilting this way or that way, you know, get as level as I can. And then once we cinch this down all the way, then I'll pull it out some more, put in another screw on this side, one on this side, pull these out and see if it slides shut. And um, so after this one goes in, then we're going to put this down on the ground so I can reach that top one. <laughs> Four feet, you know, it's a lot taller than you think when you start working on it. <laughs> But anyway, almost there. I think we might be able to start getting the uh, the drawer fronts on today. I'm hoping we can. We've already been up and at it, hard at it in the, in the house today, so I'm kind of getting worn out already. That pain level's starting to come up in me. But anyway, I'm going to press on here and see what, how much more I can get done. And then... Uh, like to start getting the drawer fronts put on. That'd be cool. Alrighty, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye now. Well, all right, we didn't quite make today getting the drawer fronts put on, but we got them all cut to size. We decided to remake the bottom front. Uh, we got to plane it tomorrow. It's getting warm out here for us, and I have to watch be getting overheated. So anyway, uh, we got these cut down to size now. They're all cut to size. All we gotta do is finish planing this. So what will happen tomorrow, this will get planed. And then I'm gonna change to a round over bit in my router table. And they're gonna round over all the edges on this. Then we'll install these on the drawers. As you can see, all the drawers, the drawer boxes are put in now. So they're all set there snug as a bug in a rug. So we're getting there. So this week, sometime this week, I hope we can start putting the tongue oil finish on it. And I'll take you through that process. It'll probably be the last time I show a video of me using the uh, Minwax tongue oil finish. I've got several videos of me doing that, and this will be the be one more to those series of uh, videos I have out so I don't see the need to just keep showing it over and over and over again so I'll show it one more one last time on this on this build and that'll be the last time I show how I put on how I use that Minwax tongue oil finish I've had many questions and I hope to answer them on this one and um, so anyway all right that's the hobby guy and his wife Goodbye for now. Bye. I'm hobby guy and his wife out here today. We're out here. We had to remake one of the boards for the fronts of the uh, Chester drawers. Here's the proof of the sawdust. And here's my lovely wife. <laughs> She's kind of covered in it. <laughs> We're having fun anyway. So anyway, we got, got it. The new board planed, and I just got to re-size uh, it, the lengths of these. I had one board that's about a half inch shorter than the rest of my boards, so I've got to cut them all the same length now. But uh, after that, we're going to try and install these things and see what happens. All right, I'll bring it back in a little while.
All right, we got the round overs done. For some reason our camera came out upside down. <laughs> anyway, um, round overs done. Now it will be attaching them to the drawer fronts. I mean, these are the drawer fronts. They'll be attaching to the drawers. And we'll go from there. All righty, we'll talk at you later. Bye now. Well, all right, little trial on air here, but we're figuring this out. We got two of the drawer fronts on now. And what we did was drew out center lines on our fronts here and down here. Did the same on the, on the chest drawers themselves. As you can see, what I do is I pull this out a little bit here. Pull it out. We place the drawer front on there and then we kind of eyeball it up to make sure it's on there. And then we clamp that drawer front on. And then what I've done, I've drilled five holes, one in the center and four, one in each corner. And um, so then I come back in and I screw the fronts on. I'm not using any glue. And uh, so far, so good. So we got two more to go. Again, this, this will be the third one. So anyway, that's where I'm at right now. So I'll bring you back in once we get them all installed. I just wanted to show you how we're installing them. I know there's many, many ways of doing these and I was trying to make it the easiest I could. And um, so far it seems to be working out fine. Alrighty, I'll bring you back in a little bit. Well, all right, there she is, all finished. All the fronts are on, round overs are done. So this will be the end of the build part of it. The next uh, video or two will be me putting the Minwax Tongue Oil finish on it. That'll probably start tomorrow. We'll have to start sanding. I'll sand it. I won't do that on camera. But I'll start sanding it and stuff like that. And then um, there it is. Spalted poplar wood. The thing weighs a ton. <laughs> it is heavy. Once it's on the floor, it ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I was surprised how heavy it turned out. But um, it all came out pretty good. There's the drawers, one of the top drawer anyway. Well, anyway, there it is. Like I said, so the next uh, video, maybe two videos, I'll sh show you how I do the tongue oil finish on it. Actually, it's Minwax tongue oil finish. And, um, I've got many videos of how I apply it, but I'm going to do it one more time. I've had some questions, and so I'm going to try to answer some of them in this video coming up. But uh, there she is, all complete. You know, like now, I'll go with 400 or 800 grit sandpaper, whichever I got left in my pile of sandpaper. And, uh, but there she be. My wife and I are excited. This, this was quite an undertaking for us. We did it. We pulled it off. And um, the way I clamped them on and did them fronts worked out slick, just slick as could be. And um, um, like I said, I try to try to think of simple ways of doing things. I don't always work. <laughs> But anyway, I know I keep saying anyway, anyway. I'll show you the other side of it here. There's the other side. I think it'll work out for our needs, what we want wanting it for. And also be used, be used as a put our TV on top in our bedroom.
Alrighty, I guess it'll be it. This will be the end of the, of the build part, like I said. Now I'll just be doing the finish work, getting that on there. So hopefully sometime this, by the weekend or maybe next week, middle next week probably, uh, we'll have this sitting in our bedroom. Alrighty, I'll show it to you then. Well, actually, I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> My wife says to tell y'all, bye. She had to run in the house, go do something real quick. Alrighty, talk to you later. Be at peace. Uh -huh.